CPAC conducted uh, their big straw poll. Who is going to be the 2024 candidate? Who do they love now in conservative circles? Well, we'll have those results for you uh, coming up. But in advance of them coming out, there was a bit of attempting to control the narrative. Here's a face you might recognize. By the way, you have a poll coming out. Unfortunately, I want to know what it is. They, you know they do that straw poll, right? Now, if it's bad, I, dis so I say it, it's fake. If it's good, I say that's the most accurate poll perhaps ever. Okay, so that's him being charming for a conservative or whatever. He's joking, and he is joking, but like he's also being completely honest. So like the people in the audience are laughing and they're like, ha ha, Trumpy, that's funny. But he does actually do that to literally every poll. That's a weird area of comedy. So I'll turn to the comedian, Francesca. When you joke about something, but you're also being completely honest and the audience likes it as a joke, but won't acknowledge the truth, that's weird comedic territory. It, it is, I mean, look, I've been there. I've like dunked on the entire audiences being like, you guys are full or trash, like this audience <laughs> sucks. You know, like uh, everyone here is a rich douche. And they're, and they're like, yeah, <laughs> like that does happen. I'm not gonna say it doesn't. People like when you sort of say outlandish things about them, especially when they will make far more money than you ever will in your lifetime. But um, <laughs> this is not that case, this is, this is a very, there's a razor thin difference between the joke that he said there and what he has been saying for a year now about the election, right? You know, heads I win, tails you lose, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and that now he's just openly lauding it. And people let, and that I think is, it doesn't matter that it's logic, illogical, or it doesn't matter that he's revealing his hand about his like, dirty secret about how he just lies to people. It's super strongman stuff. It's mm -hmm. like relishing in the fact that you use propaganda and you lie to people. That is typical strongman stuff. And if you're in a cult, you don't care what the cult leader has to do to stay in power. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's sort of scary and dark when the cult leader realizes I can say whatever I want to these people. But I feel like even in most cults, they're supposed they're not supposed to say that to the cultists. Right. Like that's that's mean. Not to me. Like he doesn't care about if me. If he I'm said the thing cult. about money, like it wasn't about money. If he was like, you know, and then I send you the emails and then you check the boxes and then we just charge your credit card like six times. <laughs> if he had but gone he there, I know. I he does that. They do that. No, no, I know he does it in reality. I feel like he could have told that joke. And like maybe. Maybe. I think he's got a hold. Of, well, let's find out how much of a hold he has on them. So that that straw poll did actually happen. So Trump held a commanding lead with 70% of those who responded saying they would vote for him in the Republican primary if it were held today. Uh, Ron DeSantis came in second with 21%. Ooh. So uh, that's um, with Trump in. When you poll them without Trump, you don't put him on the ballot. DeSantis gets 68% of the vote. So DeSantis without Trump gets virtually the exact same support as Trump gets, which is obviously good news for DeSantis. Seems like it's gonna be a little bit annoying to Donald Trump though. Um, and by the way, one extra little uh, bit uh, here w with that one without Trump, um, they put a bunch of other names on there as well. Uh, Rand Paul, Nikki Haley, Ted Cruz, Tucker Carlson, Christy Nome, and Mike Pompeo all received 1% of the poll. Oh, This is with Trump, so with Trump, they get basically no support. And apparently, Tucker Carlson gets like the same level of support that Mike Pompeo does, which that's interesting. I wouldn't necessarily predict that. I wonder if that's a CPAC thing. Like, would regular conservatives be more influenced by seeing him every night and knowing his name maybe a little bit more? I wonder. It's a straw poll, John. Yeah. Okay. The the fresh hail that awaits us in 2024 is yet unwritten, <laughs> okay. and uh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I've got one more bit of fresh hell that I want to get. But we will be taking. We will be doing bet placing bets. <laughs> I will put a solid solid thirty dollars on somebody. What like about who who right we now? think is gonna who we think is gonna be the uh, the nominee. The Republican nominee. Do you yeah. want to do I make a bet right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've thought about it enough. It's not going to be Carlson. It's not going to be Noam. It's not going to be. Is it going to be Trump? I, I actually, oh, 2024? Yes. Yeah. 2024, yes. Okay. Um, 
because they're idiots. I think so as of right now, at least that doesn't seem like a great bet. I think a better bet would be, will there even be a Republican primary? Will anyone go up against? Remember, there almost wasn't a Democratic one in 2016. Like it was like Bernie and a couple of chuckleheads going up against. If Trump is in, there won't be. There's no way anyone can win against Trump. Yeah. But there okay. is a way if he's not in to then you know fawn over because Trump's not Trump will not endorse anyone who's not him. Yeah. He Even if care. he's incapacitated from a breakfast buffet at a golf course and he cannot move for months, he will not. He he doesn't he doesn't even want his own family members running. Doesn't want That's Ivanka true. running. Doesn't want anyone except himself running. Yeah. He's he and this is the thing. I don't get this. Why we're always like oh the the media is like oh the coveted Trump endorsement. Yeah, how'd that work out in Georgia? That's true. How did no, any that of one doesn't count? It's something right. to do with Mitch McConnell. It doesn't count. It only counts if it works. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So we'll think more about the the bet. We'll come up with something. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.